Hey, it's Russ with Keller Williams. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a great day. Man, spring's here. Hey, I want to talk about something that's no fun. It's no fun to talk about stuff that on the outside looking in makes sense. And what that is, is love letters from buyers to sellers. Seems like a good idea, right? I want to tell you about my kids. I want to tell you about Christmas presents, how my little kids are going to run down the stairs in my new home because I love your home and open their Christmas presents, my little girls, my little boys. Okay, that sounds good. Seems basic, but the world we live in isn't so simple. That's actually a violation because if that seller picks that buyer based on race, based on religion, that can be a major problem. In fact, let me read it to you. In an effort to play on the emotions of a seller, consider if a potential buyer paints a picture in a love letter of their children running down the stairs on Christmas morning to gather around the fireplace and open presents in their wonderful new home for years to come. This seemingly pastoral statement not only reveals the potential buyer's familial status, but also their religion, both of which are protected characteristics under fair housing laws. Sounds bad now. The result, using protected characteristics as a basis to accept or reject an offer, as opposed to price and terms, violates the Fair Housing Act. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, has received funding to investigate discriminatory practices through controlling testing. If HUD testers find unconscious or blatant bias due to the use of love letters, real estate professionals could be fined up to $50,000 for discriminatory practices. In these cases, a HUD fine or penalty would not be covered by E&O insurance. That would be errors and omissions. Bottom line, it sounds like a good deal, and most of the time people don't mean anything by it. But the, but the reality is it's not a good idea. Don't write love letters. They're way too risky. All right. Just wanted to give you a heads up. Hope everybody has a great day. Take care.